Are you all right? Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm me, that's Bert, and this is the Nova Joka Picture Show. This movie's called Winter Beast, let's talk about it. So right off the bat we got a monster, scared him, scared a lot, and this guy, uh, yeah, if you keep picking at that, that's never gonna heal. Oh, well, it turns out it was all just a dream. That's pretty anti clip Wait, what? What the? I didn't even edit this. This is just... What's happening? Who's this guy? Wait, now it's with these two guys? What? Hang on. I need a breather. Whew. Okay, so apparently this guy is a park ranger and he's gone missing. Gee, I wonder what happened to him. Well, he's disappeared. You can't find him. Well, what about Brad? She's in your office. Look, she's pretty upset. She might not have made it back if it wasn't for uh, this guy over here. You found him? Yeah, he looks like kind of a creep to me. I'm gonna go talk to Bradford. Keep an eye on this guy. Thanks. Dude, he could hear you. Ranger Bill goes to see Ranger Bradford and asks her what she thinks of the local open mic scene. I don't like that place. It's so quiet. It's, it's so dead. How you doing? Ranger Bill asks the local to help with the search and he agrees, but only if he can see that sweet chair stepping one more time. How you doing? Sweet. Okay, so we cut to this random lady who was about to disrobe, and holy shit, it's Groot. Oh, it looks like old Groot is coming to sneak a peek at them goods. I am Groot. More like, I am Chris Brown. Ranger Bill and Ranger Stillman go to the Wild Goose Lodge to talk to Mr. Sheldon, the owner. Is there a problem? One of our men has been missing since early this afternoon. Did you, you know, put up a notice for the hikers to stay off the mountain for a while? Well, I think that might be a bit premature, don't you? Remember in Jaws when Roy Scheider wanted them to close the beach and they were like, nah. It's, uh, it's that. Hey, I'm just trying to make conversation here. Well, you're sure doing a shitty job. Well, that escalated quickly. Uh, I'm gonna need a slow mo replay on that. Yeah, that bartender just fell for no reason. So what did he say? Uh, he didn't seem too concerned. Well, maybe he is right. It is his neck of the woods. Uh, I still don't like it. Man, first thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna go check that area. Okay. The next day, Ranger Stillman and the local head up the mountain. Well, you just stick with me. I'll get you where you wanna go. Man, that beat is Casio tastic. <laughs> Bert, get the sunglasses. <laughs> On the mountain, Ranger Stillman finds this thing. It's a thing. I saw it in a dream. It was just like this. And here we see the elusive well-framed shot. 
Very rare in this part of the wilderness. I think we better get out of here before whatever it was comes back. Take it easy. This shit's been up here for years. People have been disappearing up here for years. Ranger Bill goes to the Fall Foliage Festival. Try saying that five times fast. Mr. Sheldon, can I speak to you for a moment? Well, hello, Bill. Have a look. I told you reopening the old lodge was a good idea. Yeah, listen, we gotta talk. So they argue again, and it's pretty much the same thing from earlier. He's all like, you need to close this mountain. And he's like, I don't want it. And he's like, close it. And he goes, no. And he's like, Arr. and then he's like, Arr. Later that night, they go searching for the missing ranger. Aw, someone broke the no fucking sign. The next day, Ranger Bill visits Charlie and his wife? I don't know. Her name's Barb. She doesn't really matter. Sorry, Barb. Yeah, over the years, I've kept a few of my favorite pieces just to save and show friends when they come over. Where'd this come from? Well, he said that it was given to him when he was very young. He said it was a work of a medicine man who had taken it from the body of a warrior who had been killed by Chakura. So it was made as a charm to protect others. Yeah, but it, it could just be the tooth from any large animal or maybe even somebody made it. Starting to think this movie's fucking with me. Anyway, these two chicks are out hiking when all of a sudden... <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of fucked up monsters in this. Uh, you related to any of them, Bert? <laughs> Charlie heads up the mountain to photograph that skeleton totem pole thingy. Oh yeah, that's it. Arch your back. Lick your lips. Yeah, baby, that's it. Wait. This feels wrong. There, that's better. Charlie gives the pictures to Ranger Bill, and then Ranger Bill shows them to Mr. Sheldon. So what am I supposed to do? Well, under the circumstances, I don't think you have any choice. Shut down your lodge and the trails, and then that way we can conduct an, a safe, extensive search of the area without any more lives being in danger. <laughs> Whitman, you are out of your mind. I think his mustache is getting redder. That means he's angry. So now this guy, who is a well-established character and not another random victim at all, decides to rappel down this waterfall. These two have that same argument again. How many times is that now? I've lost count. Ranger Bradford continues to search the mountain until she finds a motherfucking grave. I know what they're doing here. It's a classic damsel in distress scenario. You watch. Ranger Bell's gonna swoop in and save her in the big climax. Oh. Never mind. She's dead. And Mr. Sheldon is a bad guy. So, yeah. You probably already knew that. Ho ho ho, who's ticklish? Who's ticklish? You're ticklish, aren't you? You're ticklish. Whoa, take it easy, Chris Brown. Wait, I already did that joke. Uh, take it easy, Groot. Mr. Sheldon is clearly a classically trained actor, which means he's more than ready to play the Joker. 
Joaquin Phoenix, you better watch your ass. Ranger Bill goes into the Wild Goose Lodge and finds Ranger Bradford. Wow, way to capture the intense emotions he must be feeling right now. Nailed it. Charlie finds Mr. Sheldon doing... something. And it's all fortune, the Charlie runs into Ranger Bill, and they both agree. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Mr. Sheldon explains that he knew about it all along, and it's all part of an ancient ritual, and... Monsters, 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 monsters. But why? Why would you want to do it? And if you thought my explanation was bad, check out his. <laughs> so, uh, the next day? Perkins General Store. Charlie, this is Bill. Hey, what's up? How's the business up at the lodge? So, wait. They just saw all that crazy shit, and they're just like, Hey, what's up? Just another day on the mountain. It's a lot slower today with the weekend over. Later that day, Ranger Bill and Ranger Stillman search an area somewhere. I don't know. In the film industry, this is what's known as padding. Enjoy! At least Ranger Bill is wearing his Canadian assault vest. Ranger Stillman sees something in the distance and decides to GTFO. Huh, I wonder what he saw. Oh, shit! Ranger Bill runs to the rescue, but he falls in a hole. <laughs> That's so Bill. Well, it looks like Ranger Stillman is gonna have to fight the monster all by himself. Uh, I bet he's got some kind of neat trick up his sleeve. Oh. Never mind. Meanwhile, Charlie checks on his chickens and nearly chokes when he sees a changed chicken chewing on the chicken pen. Oh wait, is he gonna use that tractor to fight the giant rooster? Oh, that would be so awesome. Oh, never mind. It's not in the effects budget. Ranger Bill wanders through the forest when he runs into the Winter Beast. Winter Beast. Charlie shows up and they try to GTFO, but the Winter Beast is like, Aw, oh, come on guys, you just got here. You should like, totally hang out. Ranger Bill tries to flare a gun, but the Winter Beast is like, Get that weak shit out of here. And Charlie's like, Yo, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Never mind, I don't got this. But then Charlie sees this weird head in the grass, and then he grabs it, and he tries to get Bill's attention. He's like, Hey Bill! You, you gotta shoot this head instead of that winter beast, man. And Bill's like, oh, I don't know, man. I should probably shoot this winter beast. He's like, no, no, you gotta shoot this this head. And he's like, no, man, uh, there's a winter beast here. He's like, no, seriously, though. It'd be really good if you shot this head. And he's like, ah, but winter beast. And then Charlie's like, shoot this fucking head. And, and then Bill's like, oh, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll just shoot that head then. You know that the spirit store has a new return policy, right? <laughs> Next time, we hunt for bears. <laughs> and that was Winter Beast. What do you think, Bert?
Well, that's all for this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I have a book out. I'll put the uh, link in the description below. And on behalf of Bert and myself and all of us here at Nova Joka, keep it real and keep it.